<laughs> Thank you. I'm going to bring up the next comic, uh, Tony Zapia. This guy right here, give it up for him. For now. He got the right ethnicity right for my first name, but it's Italian, it's actually Tom, but that's all right. Tom Zappi, it's a name, it's a good name. You guys like that name? Is he actually a porn star? I'm lost, I don't, I don't really, I kind of came in late. Does he do porn? He looks like a dude who, you know, he looks so, but he looks like he had a giant piece, you know? Right, like that kind of guy, like, yeah, was this guy retarded or what? But his cock is probably huge. Right? That's the kind of guy who has a big piece. A guy that looks like that has a, you know. Right. How, how you guys doing? Nice. You guys look good over here. How about you guys? A lot of couples. This is three in a row. We got another month before Valentine's Day. Why don't you guys stay at home for a little while? All right? Come on. No, I'm kidding. It's so beautiful to see. And the dude who went up in the beginning, his mom came out for him. How, how nice is that when your parents come out and support you for comedy? You guys, right? That's great, right? I'm trying to get my mom to come out on a 20 degree night. My, I'm gonna do some comedy. Why don't you come watch your son live his dream? Now I gotta catch up on Law and Order. That's a true story. That's a, that's a real line that she said to me one time. Thanks, Ma. That makes me feel really good. You gotta catch up on a show that comes on eight different channels at nine different times. Hey, I really appreciate that, Ma. Thanks. Unbelievable. I see this. I see my man right here is noticing the stash. You see the stash? Going for the stash, right? What's with, this, what's with this mustache stigma? It's like anyone who has a mustache is a pedophile. Have you guys heard of this? Right, you know what I'm talking about? It's like, it's like goatee. Oh, what's up, man, mustache, don't come near my kid. It's like, what? It's a fucking mustache, dude, okay? Have you been to the 80s, okay? This has been around for a while, okay? It's not a, it's not a pedophile thing. Like, let's look at the most, let's look at the world famous pedophiles of our time. Not one of them had a mustache, okay? Right? Jerry Sandusky? No. Jared from Subway? <laughs> Nothing, right? This guy knows what I'm saying. R. Kelly? Jeffrey Epstein? Jeffrey Epstein was clean shaven, my friends. Clean shaved, okay? Michael Jackson? Guy couldn't grow hair at all. He definitely didn't have a mustache. He might be the fucking mecca of pedophilia, okay? Christ, give it a rest. It's a mustache. I'm not, I don't like to touch kids, okay? I do have a niece, but I've never touched her in a sexual way, okay? All right, I got dark there. This guy said, Jesus Christ. He's like, all right, you took it too far there, buddy. Relax. All right, I did have a run-in with a pedophile one time. At least I think so. I'm, I was a kid, or I was a little kid. I was like seven years old. I'm walking home from school. School, I grew up down the block from my elementary school. And I'm walking home from school, and this older gentleman approaches me. He pulls up on the curb in a van, and he rolls down his window, and he goes, he goes, hey, have you seen my lost dog? I lost my dog in this area. And I was like, what the fuck? What? But like, you know, when you're a kid, your mom is always like, don't talk to strangers, don't talk to strangers, run away, do whatever. So I just started running, and I was like, that was fucking weird. Fast forward like a week, and I'm watching a story on the local news comes up. It's like, registered sex offender has moved into this neighborhood. I'm looking like it's my neighborhood. What? If, you know, he's been trying to lure kids into his car, asking if they've seen his lost dog. And I was like, oh, what the f The first thing, I looked at my mom, I go, that guy hasn't found that fucking dog yet? That was like six days ago. <laughs> And this is a gated neighborhood. How the hell have we not found this fucking dog? No, you guys, dogs, anybody? No? Give me a break, I got the fucking buzzer. Did you see the Aaron Hernandez documentary? Anybody see the Aaron Hernandez documentary? All right, if you didn't, I'm gonna ruin it. You didn't finish it? It immediately piqued my interest. You know, excessive firearms, marijuana, gay sex, I was into it. Oh, I can't get, I can't get into it? No? All right, he murdered people. I think you didn't fucking know, okay? All right, I'm out of time, thank you guys. Your next comic is my good friend, Ricky Ramses! How you doing? Y'all good? Y'all okay? I feel like tonight has been a weird night. <laughs> Fucking crackhead bitch came on stage. There's a lot of pedophilia jokes. <laughs> I'm 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 really fucked up though. I need y'all energy right now because I I got some crazy news earlier today. Uh, one of the cats I grew up with, like dude I graduated with, he died. 